This painting by Peter Paul Rubens depicts the biblical story of the Massacre of the Innocents. It is an example of Baroque art, featuring vivid colors and dramatic figures. It is a powerful and emotive painting, conveying the horror of the massacre. This painting by El Greco features an allegorical scene with a young boy lighting a candle in the company of an ape and a fool. It is thought to be a representation of the human condition, with the boy representing innocence and the ape and fool representing the darker sides of human nature. Pablo Picasso's Green Still Life is a cubist painting from 1914. It features a collection of objects arranged in a seemingly chaotic composition. The painting is a great example of Picasso's cubist style, which he developed in the early 20th century. Vincent van Gogh's painting, La Pluie Rain, is a beautiful piece of art that captures the emotion of a rainy day. The painting is full of vibrant colors and a unique style that captures the movement of the rain. Chaim Soutine's The Old Mill is an expressionist painting that captures the beauty of the French countryside. It is painted in a vibrant, almost abstract style with bold brushstrokes and vivid colors. The painting is an excellent example of Soutine's unique style and skill. The Ninth Wave is a painting by Ivan Ivazovsky depicting a dramatic seascape. It is a masterful example of romanticism, capturing the power of the sea with its turbulent waves and the small boat struggling against them. Mihaly Munkachi's painting, The Last Day of a Condemned Man, is a striking and powerful work. It depicts a man in a prison cell, his face filled with despair. The painting conveys a sense of tragedy and the helplessness of the condemned man. Johannes Vermeer's painting, View of Delft, is an iconic work of art. It is an incredibly detailed and realistic representation of the Dutch city of Delft. The painting is a testament to Vermeer's skill as a painter and his ability to capture the atmosphere of the city. Carl Bodmer's painting, Forest with Ducks and Frogs, is a beautiful example of 19th century romanticism. It features a tranquil forest scene with a variety of wildlife including ducks, frogs, and other animals. The painting captures the beauty of nature and the peacefulness of the natural world. Claude Monet's painting, San Giorgio Maggiore al Crepuscolo, captures the beauty of Venice in a unique way. The painting shows the San Giorgio Maggiore church in Venice at dusk, with its warm colors and reflections in the water. It is a stunning piece of art that conveys a sense of peace and tranquility. Las Meninas is a famous painting by Diego Velázquez. It is a complex and intriguing piece, depicting the Infanta Margarita surrounded by her entourage. It is considered a masterpiece of Spanish Baroque art. The Bark of Karen is a painting by Jose Ben Lira Y. Gill from 1919. It is an expressionist work depicting the mythical boatman Karen, who ferries souls of the dead across the river Styx. The painting is full of dramatic, dark colors and features a powerful, haunting figure of Karen. Gustave Moreau's painting of Perseus and Andromeda is a romanticized interpretation of the classic Greek myth. It is an oil painting on canvas and features vibrant colors and detailed brushwork. It is a beautiful example of the symbolist movement in art.
Paul Delvaux's painting, The Joy of Life, is a surrealist work that depicts a dreamlike landscape with two nude female figures. The painting is a combination of classical and modern elements, creating a unique and captivating image. John Henry Twachtman's painting, End of Winter, is a beautiful landscape of a snow-covered countryside. The painting is full of vibrant colors and an overall peaceful atmosphere, making it a great representation of the end of winter. This painting by Asher B. Duran depicts a landscape inspired by the poem Thanatopsis by William Cullen Bryant. It is a beautiful, romanticized landscape with a winding path and a tranquil lake. It is a peaceful and serene scene. Henrik Simiratsky's painting, Nero's Torches, depicts the legendary Roman emperor Nero watching the burning of alleged perpetrators of the Great Fire of Rome. The painting is a vivid reminder of the power of a tyrant and the tragedy of his rule. John French Sloan's Clown Making Up is a vivid portrait of a clown in the process of transforming himself into a character. The painting captures the energy of the performer as he applies his makeup. <laughs> 